Welcome back to the movie recap. Today I'm gonna show you a 2013 American horror film called, Where? Spoilers ahead. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. The movie starts with Claire Porter in a hospital bed, a police officer questions her from what she can remember from the murder of her family in a camping site in France. She narrates that an unknown creature attacks Henry, her spouse, and Peter her son, late night during their camping trip. The creature pounces at Henry and Peter ripping and consuming their body leaving only remains of their bloody pieces of garments. After that event, a series of interview commences as the press releases several statements about the unknown creature is responsible for the murder of Porter family. Several investigations after, the British police tracks down a Talon Gwinnick, a known assailant that lives near the crime scene. Several days after a half-American half-French attorney Catherine Moore and her crew arrives to testify for Talon's alleged murderer of the Porter family. Catherine speaks with Klaus, the head of the police and persists that her client Talon cannot be suspect without further investigations, and cannot rely on solely a blurry footage and a testimony of an injured Claire Porter. Later during an interrogation between Catherine and Talon, she informs him that his mother and father worry about him. But the police intervene and asks for Catherine to leave immediately, Talon grabs her arm, but the authorities thought that he is attempting to attack her. Gavin, one of Catherine's crew panics and grabs her, Talon bites him as his fangs and nails, are larger compared to other people. After the incident, Catherine, Eric, and Gavin travels to the woods where Talon's home is located. As they arrive at the location of Talon's home, they did not expect that his home will be a cabin in the woods. Catherine and the others enter the house, and starts to ask Talon's mother questions pertaining to his childhood and daily agendas. Talon's mom mentions about his rare medical condition that is hereditary only to their male bloodline, as they have bones that are long yet very weak giving them a tall yet weak body frame. But someone throws a rock at the window, breaking the glass. The rock has a message, killer, written with a red ink. Making Talon's mom emotional due to everyone calling his son a killer. Catherine and her team leaves and goes to a cafe to rest and talk about their investigation. After some time, they all go back to their office to rest once more and make further investigation towards Talon and his medical condition. Gavin calls Eric and Catherine to inform them about his discovery about the rare medical case of Talon. Gavin states that Talon is suffering from porphyria, that makes his joints and his body almost breaks as he moves. It also makes him appear as very hairy and makes his bone look longer. This information fascinates the team as with his big but weak stature, how can he attack someone healthier than him that can fight back? Gavin coughs and shows signs of an illness that alarms both Catherine and Eric while he is showing the information about Talon. Catherine tells everyone that she is going home as she will continue to tire herself if she works more for the rest of the night. Gavin approaches her and asks for a drink to catch with each other, but she declines his offer. She prefers to rest to fully function for their job tomorrow. Eric gets curious about what's going on with Gavin and Catherine, but Gavin dismisses Eric as he wants his private life to remain private. As Gavin leaves the office and Eric, minding his own business, re-watches the recorded video of the incident with the Porter family. He notices that there are no visuals to what really caused the attack of the family at their camping. The next day Catherine, Eric, and Gavin goes to the medical facility holding the remains of the Porter family. Gavin and Catherine notices that the scars and remains do not show any sign of weapon marks instead, they find bite marks that proves an animal is really at fault for the murder of the Porter family. Catherine attempts another talk with Talon, she informs him that he is suffering from an illness called, porphyria, that will prove his innocence. She also informs him that he needs to be in a medical facility in order to prove that he is suffering from porphyria, but needs his approval for the series of tests to commence, and Talon agrees. Catherine asks Talon about his whereabouts during the time of the murders, but he replies with he is sick, and he experiences a lot of blackouts recently, which proves his innocence. Later that day at the office, Catherine and Eric is discussing about the death of Talon's father that Klaus may have been the suspect. Klaus appears to want the land where the Gwinnick family is living. While Gavin discusses about the strange big bite marks at the body, and what animal is responsible for the attacks. But Eric and Gavin gets into a verbal argument about their past life, it appears that they are not in good terms as they dig in each other's personal life. A phone call interrupts the argument as Claire dies from a shock after experiencing a lot of physical and emotional traumas from the attack of the unknown creature. Gavin once more gets dizzy and feels sick while looking at a scar that has a lot of strange hair growing that from the bite of Talon. The following morning, the team visits the Klaus to ask why did they not investigate thoroughly the case, as the investigation disregards the consideration of Talon's medical condition. Klaus dismisses question by saying Talon is using drugs to perform the attacks. A call disrupts the commotion as the investigation team finds another clue pertaining to what creature is responsible for attacking and eating its prey. 
Klaus and Catherine's group rushes to the scene only to see a large horse covered in blood. The police forces and investigators survey the area for the unknown creature, but to their surprise it is only a bear, and not a creature that they are expecting. They shoot the bear until it is dead, but all is disappointed that there is no other creature to capture. Later that evening, Gavin is experiencing a lot more of his headaches in his room while reading the autopsy results as Catherine and Eric enters his room, and asks for his help about a new information about Talon's medical condition. Eric leaves after talking with Gavin to look at the CCTV footage of the interrogation and incident where the police's tazes Talon after grabbing Catherine's arm. He notices that Talon may have bitten some part of Gavin's arm which may be the cause of his unwell state. Which alarms him after seeing the footage. The following day, the group visits Talon alongside his mother for his medical testing. The police accompany Talon to his medical room for further testing his rare condition, after the briefing of the testing process to both Talon and his mother. But after several tests, the blinking lights is making Talon react and raises his heart rate, and begins to attack half of the medical staffs. Killing about three of them in the process. He smashes their heads with his large hands, and slams it to the walls and floor, and escaping right after killing the medical staffs. Eric discovers more connection and a possible explanation for Talon's superhuman strength and outburst. The moon was full moon during the first attacks with the porters, and today the full moon will be active till the following day. Iris suspects that the moon affects Talon as if he's a werewolf of some sort. Catherine blames herself for letting Talon out for his medical testing, and as she sees the news that Talon is hiding in an abandoned building, Eric, and Catherine plans to go to that area and inform the police for their assumptions of Talon's werewolf-like traits. Gavin disagrees with their plan, but Catherine's conscience cannot take the burden of letting a murderer lose after trusting him with a little hope and freedom. Gavin decides to stay at their office to rest instead. But as he looks at the mirror, he notices that his scar is becoming larger the longer his headaches occurs. The press and the soldiers survey the area to look for areas to locate Talon and recapture him. Catherine and Eric arrives at the scene to inform Klaus about their suspicion, but they are abruptly interrupted by a soldier that informs them that they will now commence the recapturing of Talon the murderer. Later that evening the soldiers and police rushes to the location of Talon at the abandoned building as Klaus is observing Talon's action with the use of a camera footage. But suddenly Talon turns into a monster, as fangs and a werewolf-like features. Talon attacks the men by smashing their heads into the walls and flooring, he throws some of the soldiers off the building and continues his attack. More men arrive and shoots Talon before he jumps off the 8th floor of the building. The authorities are reminding the people to be wary of Talon as he escapes once more from the authority. Gavin, Eric, and Catherine regroups as they think of a new plan to stop Talon's killing spree. Choppers are flying around the house of Talon where the authorities are expecting him to be. The mother of Talon escapes right before the authorities arrive at the house. Catherine, Eric, and Gavin also arrive at the area to explain about Talon's supernatural powers that is coming from the moon. But Klaus does not understand it, but persists that they need to find Talon as soon as possible. Catherine mentions about how peaceful the Gwynnick family has been for the past 50 years before the passing of Talon's father. The incident may be the trigger point for Talon to turn into the monster that he is right now. Klaus disregards what he is hearing, and Catherine goes outside to get some fresh air. She notices that there is something moving at the farmhouse door. She approaches the door and enters it to inspect the farmhouse. She whispers and calls Mrs. Gwynnick as she suspects that she has been hiding there for some time now. But she only finds a hog in there squealing and moving around the farmhouse, Eric and the police are inspecting the area and calls her to leave the area. But as soon as they leave, Talon grabs a soldier and consumes the lower half of its body, and throws it in front of Catherine and the soldiers. Talon jumps to the window and breaks it, the police shoot at him, but misses every time he lands and jumps. He escapes once more and hides at the woods. Klaus reminds Catherine, Eric, and Gavin to lay low and avoid any possible contact with Talon as he is very dangerous. Gavin confesses to Eric and Catherine that he was previously infected by Talon way back at the police station as he thought that he is only scratched, but in reality, he was bitten by Talon that time. Gavin gives Catherine a gun to protect herself if ever he turns like Talon and kills everyone. He intends to protect Catherine by any means necessary. After surveying the house, the police use all their surveying equipment to look for Talon and his mother in the area. Chopper swoops in and lights every area of the forest, the vehicles are rallying the area and attempts to find Talon, while the police forces alongside Klaus are scouring the forest to check every area that cannot be seen by the vehicles. The group stumble upon a cave that is possible for Talon to hide from the authorities. A surprise attack by Talon picks off the troops one by one eating and bashing their heads in the walls of the cave. Catherine sincerely asks Talon to stop and listen to her, but Talon cannot control himself and continues the manslaughter. 
Klaus decides to shoot him, and his troops follows his command and shoots him until he stops, killing Talon inside the cave. Back at the cabin of Talon, Gavin is investigating the area, and he discovers a secret room with seats that has chains and a belt, he assumes that it has been used before to keep Talon from turning into a beast. Gavin goes upstairs and notices that a police officer has his neck slit and bloody, an axe hits his side, and it is Mrs. Gwinnick trying to kill everyone, but Gavin avoids it and pushes her to the secret room where he kills her after his rage overcomes him, as he turns into a monster as well. Gavin grows frustrated as he is becoming a monster himself, he rushes to the bathroom and grabs a razor and shaves every hair that he can see out of frustration. The result of it, a Gavin that is very bloody and bald. Back at the recovery of Talon, he comes back to life and flips the van over to escape, Eric and Catherine follows him in a van while Klaus follows them with a chopper to cover more ground area and not let Talon escape once more. But Talon enters the forest making any vehicles useless, Eric and Catherine walks in an attempt to recapture Talon. Talon pounces at Eric ripping his mouth as he begs for mercy. Catherine shoots him as she sees his friend dying in front of her, but as she runs out of bullets, she run towards the woods to hide from him. Talon captures her and stops to see that she is Catherine someone that trusted him. But just in time, Gavin that is now a werewolf saves her by throwing Talon to a tree. Talon and Gavin confronts each other in a bloody fight. Gavin and Talon, both throws punches at each other, they both screeches at each other as if they are communicating, but in the end, Gavin wins the fight killing Talon by breaking his neck. Right after defeating Talon, Gavin approaches Catherine and asks her to shoot him in the head to end his life. Although Klaus accidentally hits Catherine instead. Gavin gets mad and with his full rage. He is able to throws a soldier at the chopper to make it lose its balance, and killing Klaus as it crashes down the chopper, it explodes as soon as it hits the ground making a large orange explosion cloud. The movie ends with a series of videos from the media that shows more victims of the werewolf attacks all over France. The media still believes that Talon is still at large, and is continuing his manslaughter with Gavin's interview. It has been proven that Klaus killed Talon's father to get the land where the Gwinnick family is living. While Gavin is still a werewolf and keeps it hidden as he does not want any affiliation with Talon's killing. He implies that Talon is indeed a modern werewolf that attacks the weak. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this to help the channel out. Have a nice day.